Hi, this is just a quick one for those who are thinking about painting themselves, but your prep work, etc. The amount of work what goes into your work, into your paint jobs. Here we've got a Pandit fuel tank. This has already been stripped down. Um, if you're going to use Nitomorse, don't bother. It's junk nowadays. Go to your paint supplier, get some really good stuff, or burn your hands. If they tell you you need to wear gloves, it'll take your paint off. So this had. Um, quite a few layers of paint on actually um it looked like it had been painted three times prior and no, none of them have been taken down to the paint work down to the steel so take it take it down to the steel because at the end of the day you don't want reactions and messing about with other people's paint work which you don't really know how it's been painted or what with these some of these dings i could see through the original paint work so i knew they were there so down to the steel mark them all off every mark and ding you can find on the fuel on the, on a tank or any front wood guard steel etc obviously don't nitromorph plastic because you'll melt it it'll end up looking like a rat so yeah all these dings have to be uh filled prior to the work and pro reprofiled so that the, it, it doesn't show through on your final work this has now been rubbed down with 400 wet and dry so its next job is filler then a dark primer three to four coats of dark primer then when that's rubbed down and i'm happy that it's um no dins no marks no nothing in it then it'll go to uh, a silver magna then after the silver magna it'll be ghosted in with some airbrush work then after the airbrush work's done then it'll go over back over with silver shimmer um after the silver shimmer's done then it'll get two to three coats of clear base after the clear base is done, then it'll go over with a blue candy, bright blue candy. Once the once the blue candy is done, then obviously you need to do all your work at the same time with your blue candy. Otherwise, you'll end up with different um, density of of your candy. So it'll be some will be darker, some will be lighter, etc. So be careful with that. Once you've got your candy on, what's happening with this one then, after the candy, it'll have two or three more coats of clear base. Once the clear base is on, rub back down again, then this one wants striping. Then more graphics being put on the outside, but I don't want the shimmer to come through, so that'll be blanked with a white base to start with before the graphics go on top of the white, on top of the white base, so that the, the actual shimmer will kick through and you end up with more reflective lines then because it'll shine through in some places but not others once that's all done then you're on your 2k clear well ventilated area make sure that you are i've got a very good mask on because it's pretty dangerous stuff that is so make sure that everything's all make sure you can breathe properly etc and then at least four or five coats of clear rub it down rub it down until you get that lovely glass finish where there's absolutely no marks imperfections or anything in the paintwork it should look like you've just poured water on it and it's markless so anyway hope that helps and some idea of how much work goes into it cheers buds